<laughs> All right, hey you. Yes, you. Today I want to talk about the top five questions that the DIY Powerwall video has generated. I think I should answer them in video form. Okay, so question number four. How long will the used cells last? Is it worth it? So this question comes often. Uh, again, also this comes as a criticism, like look at this idiot using that laptop cell. Like, doesn't he know that's they're not gonna last very long? You know, in reality, no one really knows. I haven't seen someone else put a project where they took a bunch of cells, they tested them, they picked the best ones out of the badge, they put them together and they used them and they got you know a hundred cycles off of them and then they were all dead like th where is that info like it's it's a very good possibility it's a very likely possibility that is what's going to happen but likely is that also we're going to get 200 cycles or 300 cycles 500 cycles uh no one knows no one's done it and if they've done it no one's documented in a way that you, we can like go back and quote that article or quote that video or quote the thing that's the thing that i'm doing here uh and i'm catching you know a lot of criticism from people that i could only describe them as idiots because if you're not you're not gonna root for the person that is going to go and look for the answer so that then you can use those answers to form an, an informed opinion about a subject then you're just an idiot uh you know you're not someone that you're not someone that should be taken seriously and so I will ignore all of you that are criticizing me for what I'm doing and I will embrace every single one of you that is thankful and excited about what I'm doing and that want to learn. So next question, is playing around with batteries dangerous? Will it burn my house down? Again, that one comes down as a huge part of the criticism. Look at this idiot, he's going to burn his house down. Um, yeah, playing with batteries is dangerous all this stuff has a certain level of danger um I, but again the 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 example i like to use is that driving is also a dangerous activity yet everyone does it. i don't know a single person that says i do not get in a car because it's a dangerous thing to do everyone seems to accept the level of danger that is involved with driving or get on a vehicle and driving on the road so batteries are a dangerous thing but they're not as dangerous as everybody seems to make them there are things you can do to run them and use them safely and those are the things that i am trying to learn and i am trying to share with you guys the viewers uh, hopefully we can all learn together um, and hopefully i can spread the diy spirit so that people can do things for themselves they learn for themselves they don't you know they don't just believe what everyone else tells them um, because that could be a dangerous thing. Um, so these are the top five most asked questions arising from this video. Um, what's in the future? The future I am going to bring that power wall, my DIY power wall from the building where I installed it. You saw me installing it in the video and I'm gonna build. Someone uh, suggested that I use this wall right here, right on top of my couch there to put it there and to do my experiments there. I think that's a good idea. I don't have a lot of wall space in my garage, but I have some in here. So not only am I bringing it to my garage where people say it's dangerous and I'm gonna burn my garage down, I'm gonna put it inside my house. I'm gonna put it right there just to get these people riled up. You know what I mean? I'm gonna prove them wrong with style. So I think that's what I'm gonna do that. Um, right now, I don't really have a lot of access to that building because my brother moved in. He's got a bunch of junk all over the place and it's gonna take him a while to kind of, you know, settle in and put everything where it goes and stuff. But once that happens, then I'm gonna go and grab that and take it out the wall, put it in here, and then we can start playing with it. The next thing is gonna be inverters and how to use some inverters, how to, you know, what to buy off the shelf, how to modify some of these UPSs that people have been telling me about because you can buy them for almost next to nothing also on eBay. Um, and so stay with me. Uh, the Powerwall, the DIY Powerwall project will continue. Eventually, we're gonna run something off of that. All right, guys, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.
Hey guys, thank you for watching my videos. If you like what I'm doing and you feel compelled to further support my channel, make sure and click in all the links that I have in this page. There's uh, links to my sponsors, there's links to my social media, uh, there's links to other videos that you might find interesting that are related to the one that you just watched. You guys make it all possible for me to do what I do, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.